Hey everyone, here's a quick video on connecting your Din and DJ Prime 4 Plus to Serato and using stems. It's pretty simple, I'll show you how to do it. First, uh, just connect it with your uh, USB cord that came in the box with your Prime 4 Plus. It's a really cool thick blue one. So you're going to connect that to your uh, laptop running Serato. All right, now that we've got that connected, we're going to need to enter uh, computer mode on the Prime 4 Plus. So right now we're in standalone mode, so no computer is required, but in order to use your laptop with Virtual DJ or Serato, you're gonna need to enter computer mode. And so just swipe down from the top, navigate to the control center, which is usually the default, go to your sources. And then you'll see uh, up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little icon for a, a laptop. So you have to tap that. You're gonna get a warning. This will stop all, all audio and restart the player into computer mode. Continue. Yes. So it's gonna switch over to computer mode. Now it's in computer mode. I have Serato connected and pulled up on the laptop. So to access stems in Serato on the Prime 4 Plus, uh, what you're gonna to need to do is replace a pad mode inside the settings in Serato. So we navigate over in Serato to our settings. And then uh, it gives you the option to replace a few different pad modes. You have loop roll, sampler, or slicer that you can replace. So we're going to check this box, and then we're going to pick slicer to replace. So we replace this slicer mode with stems. One thing to notice too, inside your settings, you have the option to uh, DJ preferences. You have the option to analyze stems on song load. Uh, you can enable that, but you're going to get the pop up that it's going to basically increase your CPU load because every song you load up, it's gonna analyze it for stems. So depending on your laptop and the processing power you have, you can decide to turn that on or turn that off. We'll turn it on for this one. Now that we have our track loaded up and we have our stems replacing our slicer pad mode, uh, if I just tap the slicer pad mode, then I have access to stems inside Serato. So the top buttons correspond with the stem elements. You can always just Kind of click this tab here this is your cues you can click this stems pad mode inside serato so you can have like a, a visual reference so this is vocal melody bass and drums and then below that those are your stems effects so this is a vocal echo out this is a instrumental echo out and this is a instrumental breaker out and this is a drums echo out so basically like for example, this vocal echo out, it's gonna remove the vocals, but add an echo to them as they trail off, leaving these three elements and kind of vice versa with these. Uh, this is gonna add an instrumental echo as it removes all the instrumental, leaving only the vocal. And then this removes the instrumentals while kind of adding a breaker effect. And this one just drops out the drums, leaving the melody, bass and vocal, but adding an echo as it drops out the drums. So let's listen to how these sound. What you want to do? And you can also uh, use your sweep effects on uh, when you're in Serato, and uh, so you can do that on stuff. <laughs> And that's how you use uh, your Prime 4 Plus to control Serato and replace a pad mode with stems. It's as simple as that.